Good morning, besties. I am in the parking lot of a tailor right now. I just got some pants hemmed. I'm wearing like cute little flare pants right now. I don't know if you could see. I'm wearing the little like patterned comfy ones that make your butt look really good. I love those. So I got like a groovy pair for my Arizona trip that I'm going on in like two weeks. Oh my it's less than two weeks. I'm going on a bachelorette trip to Arizona with a bunch of girlies. It's gonna be for the weekend, so I'm excited. It's gonna be really fun. I haven't really done anything like that in a really long time. I haven't really been away from Seb or like gone on like a solo girls trip or anything like that, so I'm quite excited. I think it's gonna be really fun, and we're all gonna have a grand fucking time, so I had to go get some pants hemmed. It's hot. It's quite hot. I'm trying to figure out if Seb wants anything to eat because I might bring him something to work right now, but if not, I'm gonna head to my hair appointment and just like hang out because I am quite early to my hair appointment so i'm just kind of like doing errands we're having a productive day bitch we are having a fun productive day i have zero desire to ever be anything other than like my natural hair color with a little money piece right now like that's kind of just the low maintenance vibe i'm at but i am thinking about getting a cut we're just gonna see i'm gonna like let her know that i want a slight change aka mainly just a cut i don't know if i should make my money piece a little bolder i just don't know what to do i'm kind of stressing out about it because i'm like I don't want to like regret it because you know spending money on anything you regret especially in this freaking economy is not fun You know, what do I do? What do I do? But it's also annoying in the shower like you guys get me It's just like long hair is so nice, but it just gets annoying I have to put it in like a braid or a ponytail every night because it like goes all over the place What do we do but also a short haircut on me and a refresh money piece? kind of miss short hair but i thrive with long hair i'm gonna bring him some food we're gonna figure out what he wants best girlfriend of the year award goes to me anyways sebastian just got a promotion yesterday and a raise and he's only been at this job for seven months like i just love him so much he's such a fucking badass so those pants will be done on tuesday it is friday right now which is even more amazing i love like doing my errands and getting things done on fridays it's just like i don't know it makes me happy because it's the weekend and then tomorrow's gonna be cool tomorrow i'm going to joe tea i already got a lot of stuff but i need to go back and return a few things and then exchange it for some other things tomorrow we have to do a bunch of errands sunday i have a family party a family dinner it's gonna be a good weekend i'm truly like having mad fomo over hard summer right now but like it's fine we're gonna go to all the other raves and we're slowing down and raving in general and we're probably gonna like end up just going to vip to everything instead of like ga so we're gonna like really get our money's worth out of these festivals and we're really gonna like make the best out of it and just probably go to less you know what i mean like we don't feel like we have to go to everything but i I think going to Beyond Wonderland, EDC, Nocturnal, and Escape is like my solid lineup for the year. I'm just a creature of habit. I love the same. Like, I definitely want to experience new festivals, but I have no problem going to the same ones. I love them. Sometimes I'm a creature of habit, sometimes I'm adventurous. It just depends. Anyways, life has been going really good. Life has just been exciting. I also have like a new facial moisturizer I'm using. I don't know if you could tell, but like, I feel like my skin is actually glowing all around. My skin looks so much better, bro. I use CeraVe like lotions, creams. I literally have like 10 of them so any CeraVe lotion get that shit on your skin because it's amazing I literally use like three different ones at once and I'm also using a retinol right now again my skin would be flaking off if it wasn't for these moisturizers my favorite one CeraVe hydrating night cream I'm going to Kayla my hairstylist she was like a subscriber and I didn't even know and she like followed me and I was like oh maybe she's like a friend of my hairstylist at the time who was moving to a different part of California so I wasn't gonna be able to go to her anymore so like I thought they were friends or something I don't even know why so I was like oh maybe I could just hit her up and like go to her now ended up being a subscriber and like no affiliation to my current hairstylist at the time and i was like oh my god bitch love you we were like dating the same guy i think she dated him more seriously than i ever did but like i have a mad story time or two about this guy but this guy we were like had the same thing with this guy and she told me the day that i first met her and came to my first hair appointment with her when i had like pink hair and she was like we literally dated the same guy essentially i was more of like fwb with him <laughs> like what are the chances Chances. The world is so freaking small. Definitely go check her out if you're in Orange County at Hair by Kayla Ann. And yeah, we're just vibing. Well, we need to go get Seb some food and then I need to go drive down to my hair place. We got the goods and we're bringing this all to Seb. It was literally so hard to not get anything for myself, but I'm trying to be really good right now and break through my plateau. So that is all for Seb. We're gonna go take that to his work right now. I was way too lenient the last like month and I feel like I was not being really good with like my gut health. So I'm just trying to be like extra freaking good or else I totally would have gotten a bagel or a burrito or whatever. We're just getting that for Seb today. 
about to go in. I have 20 more minutes and I am getting cold feet. Why do I feel like this is my real hair? It's not even my real hair. I'm cutting extensions and then I can get new ones or I can just take them out. I do love my long hair. I'm gonna miss it, but also these are like eight months old, you know? Like they're getting, they're getting to the point where they need a nice cut. Might as well just cut it short. And then I get to go home and I get to see Callie. Okay guys, so I decided to go for the cut. We're doing the cut. I was a little nervous. I was still hesitant. I asked her and she showed me a picture of herself with short hair. She looks so cute. I'm like, okay, I have to do it. I'm with Kayla, guys. Hi. Oh my gosh, she is the best hairstylist here oh in South OC. Do you have to check her out? I already kind of told them that like, I didn't know that you watched my videos. And then I told them about like what we talked about when we like dated the same guy. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she was crazy. The That's the Tinder fuckboy. <laughs> But yeah, you guys have to check her out. I'll put her link in the description and over the screen at Hair by Kayla Ann. We're gonna do the cut soon and the color. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a big transformation. I know, she's gonna make you look great. seeing Kayla and her assistant is always so sweet I love talking with them I was feeling a lot more talkative today than usual so it was like a really good time to see what was going on with them this is like short and thick bruh just like me I am here for it we got the money piece touched up it looks so good oh my god like if you don't go to Kayla what are you doing if you live in South OC I'm serious go check her out it's such a cute little quaint salon like the parking lot is always like chill it's not busy I love it down here I love it we have short hair ah! But I think I really love it and I'm excited to have like a new spunky era. I feel like short hair is very me, honestly. I love it, darling. I love it. I feel like just different hairstyles are gonna look like extra cute on me now. Look at that tiny ponytail, bitch. I'm so excited. This was not in my cards. Like I didn't think that I was gonna be cutting my hair anytime soon and here we are. Like never, never thought I was gonna have short hair. Life comes at you fast. I love my hair, what do you think of it? Do you guys think I rock the short hair with my outfit? Oh my God, this is such a vibe. I have to take an Insta today. I need an Insta today. It's not a question. It is happening. Oh gosh, she's so excited. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. This love, coming home to this love is like the best thing in the whole world. I'm never not having this length. This is an amazing length for me. Anyways, I just filmed some such cute TikToks. I'm so excited, very productive. I asked Seb if we could take a Instagram later when he's off work, so he's gonna do that for me. Ah! Like in my last video, I was like, why do I force my boyfriend to take pictures? But then sometimes you just look cute enough where you just need your boyfriend to take that Instagram pic. I literally haven't posted on Instagram since like June. Anyways, look how cute my TikToks are that I just took. Okay, tell me these aren't so cute. Teddies. Follow me on TikTok if you haven't. You're missing out. Just kidding. I literally never post. But I try and I'm going to try to continually be more active on there. I'm having so much fun on all platforms right now. I feel like I was in such like a weird era of my life where I was feeling kind of like lost and confused and literally now I just feel like I found myself. I have new hair. I have my new career. That's like a huge passion of mine. That's going to help girls feel so cute and pretty. And I'm just like happy. We're thriving over here. I can't lie. I don't know what's in the stars what's in the air just know that whenever you're going through something and you're like i am so depressed and not depressed i mean i can't say that but like where you're just like i don't feel right i don't feel good i don't feel inspired i feel really down about the world events and what's going on in the world and how grim everything seems these days Gotta have some coffee. By the way, this is caribou coffee. It is so good, you guys. I haven't really eaten much today. I'm probably gonna have some of my Go Macro bar. Basically, moral of the story, if you're literally going through anything right now where you just feel like there's no end in sight, you don't know what your purpose is, you don't know what you wanna do in life, nothing's making you happy and everything seems really sad, just know you will come out of it. I promise you. You kinda gotta go through it to find yourself. You gotta go through the lows to get to the really highs, you know? And life is always gonna be an up and down. You're never gonna be perfectly, amazingly happy all the time and you're not gonna be sad all the time. So just enjoy the moment 
moment, feel the moment, feel the feelings. If you're feeling down right now, just feel it through. Don't force yourself to do anything. Don't get mad at yourself that you're not feeling 100%. Just feel the feelings and relax and do the things that make you happy. And then when you get out of that and you're feeling a little more motivated and happy, then you can get things done. And it's just a life cycle. So it's okay to be down. And right now I'm feeling really productive and happy and like I have a fucking purpose in life and I'm so happy, but it's not always like that. So just know that if you're feeling anything, or going through anything where you're not living your best life, it's freaking okay. A lot of shit's going on in this world and it's stressful and there's just so much information and news for us to take in and it's, it's a lot. So I'm gonna finish my coffee. I don't really have much to do for the rest of the day. I wish I had things to do. I also just don't wanna spend money. I'm being really good about spending money. That's why I didn't go get a Starbucks today. I wanted to go get Starbucks with you guys in my vlog. Regardless, we're hanging out today, even if this is a pointless, stupid vlog. And that's fine with me. Like, I'm sorry, this hair is everything. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. I was just telling Callie that she gets to sleep and eat all day and get kisses, and I will protect her and love her for the rest of her life. And that all she has to do is sleep, eat, have free rent. This is my best friend in the whole world. Like, I'm not even kidding. Good morning, it is Saturday, and we're gonna go to Joanne right now. Our baby holding my stuff, cause he's the best. We have acquired the goods. This is a giant heavy bag. I got exchange. I got everything that I needed. I'm so happy. Thanks for carrying my bag, baby. What are we gonna do now? Find something to eat. He's been hungry. He was grumpy in Joanne. You should have food first. <laughs> so we we're both really hungry. I just got this from the store. Where did we go? I got this from Ralph's. This is really freaking good, and it's the Go Macro Bar, but it's so good, and the ingredients are really clean. It's also gluten free, vegan. Lit. What'd you get? I got burger cake. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this go macro bar because I'm literally starving and when we get home I'm probably gonna make a rice and bean bowl. Cause that just sounds so good right now. I need some like substance in my life. I'm gonna go see everything I got from Joanne. I got a deal 50% off. I saved literally half of what I would have spent online which I was like really close to buying everything online. We love getting shit done and like being smart and being good with our money. So I feel like I'm just like using coupons these days. I'm being a smart girl with my money and I'm just like always looking for ways to save always looking for ways to not spend money doing some last minute planning for the bachelorette trip which has been really fun today i'm so freaking excited that's in like a week and a half so i'm looking forward to that it's just a chill saturday we're not really doing lunch we're just hanging out and here he comes i am in my computer room right now i am going to be editing this video and this is saturday so i'm gonna try to get it up sunday i literally started filming this on friday and like you guys know me i was like really inconsistent with posting for a few years honestly i'm just having fun with it and i'm like really excited because i feel like i'm I'm just so willing to post whatever I want and whatever makes me happy and just have fun with it and I think like the secret to things is just to have fun with it if you're not enjoying something you're not gonna end up doing it and you're not gonna be consistent with it but I feel like if I'm genuinely just posting whatever the fuck I want because I could care less about money views anything like that I might as well be posting shit that makes me happy like I don't even care anything that comes out of it I just want to have fun so we're gonna edit right now 